Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Evil Ride 94 bringing you another action figure review. This time around, we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Hasbro Toys R Us exclusive Hydra Soldier 2-pack. We got the Hydra Enforcer and just the regular Hydra Soldier right there on the right side. If you're looking for any type of action figures, Marvel Legends and all that, then check out BigBadToyStory.com. I got links in the description below where you guys can click and, and check some stuff out for yourself. Anyways, here's the front of the package. We got the, the Brute over here and then the regular soldier here. And this is, I mean, this is beautiful. It's packed with such a great amount of accessories here. We have a lot of weapons, a lot of heads, a lot of options, and just fun factor in this package as a far as I can see so very cool I like the Hydra logo down there and I like the pictures on the side so we got this very uh, enlarged uh, monster of a Hydra soldier which I mean they don't look alike unless he transforms into that uh, and then we got the regular soldier right there on the other side on the back we do have a picture of uh, the two soldiers there, there is a read-up that says driven by rage these advanced Hydra super soldiers are prone to clash with anyone in their paths all right guys let's take them right out of the box and see what they look like in person all right, and then here we have the two out of the box. Uh, so this is without any accessories, and we can just see how they look. They look already like they're just packing a lot of heat. We got the brew over here wearing some ammunitions here. Got two grenades strapped on. So first thing I notice, of course, is this two-pack, as awesome as it is, is a complete reissue or rehash of parts. You know, everything in here is reused nothing here is brand new and they look very very different too so they did a great job executing it uh saving themselves a lot of money i'm referring to hasbro and producing some very awesome army builders for sure so everything including the weapons and accessories everything is reused all right, so taking a look at the accessories of the figure, each figure comes with two separate heads, meaning if you buy three of these packs, then you can display three different looking Hydra Soldiers of each version. So three different Brutes and three different regular Soldiers. And that's just amazing because they know people are going to army build these anyway, so they gave us the option to build them differently. They don't all have to look like twins or the same, so that's just awesome to me. But anyways, this is the rehash of the Nuke uh, head sculpt right here. So they, instead of, of course, having the American flag on there, we got a nice scar going down the face. So they just, you know, you can use this as some crazy looking Hydra brute. Uh, also, the one on the figure itself is the one from Captain Britain, I believe. That works out just as fine, too. And then the final brute head is, and I was mistaken, I guess I lied. I didn't lie, I didn't know, but uh, I couldn't find any figure that used this head. So this is a brand new head. They actually give us a brand new head. This is the only thing that's new in this set. As far as I know, if you guys, uh, if this has been used before, let me know. But I don't think so. I think this is new. So, very cool. They give us a new head then. Uh, so, I'll, everything else now, I promise, everything else is the same, I guess. Unless this vest is different. But for the most part, 90% of the pack, guys, 90% of the pack is rehashed. Which is, it's, it's not a bad thing, just letting you guys know. Uh, but anyways, here's the head. So, very cool. Three different brew heads. They all look completely different. So I like that. I want to get myself two more of these so I can do that just that. You know, I have three brutes and three regular soldiers and have a little army of hydras. Anyways, going down to the regular soldier faces, of course we have the, the traditional hydra soldier head sculpt, which this figure is exactly the same as the one from the Captain America movie wave. We do have a rehash of the shield agent head. So now instead of it being uh, blue, of course it's green and black, which is kind of weird because most of my shield agents are wearing this head sculpt. Uh, because that's all they pretty much gave us. They gave us Nick Fury and they gave us this head. Uh, and they gave us the other guy with the weird scouter face. But, you know, if I'm going to put them facing each other, why would they be wearing the same equipment, the same face? Eh, I don't know. But it's still cool, uh, nonetheless. And then our final one is this funny. It's pretty funny because this is the Taskmaster face, except it's green and yellow, of course. Still works out okay, in my opinion. So I like that. Now going on to the accessories, we actually have the option of taking this harness out and putting this vest, so they kind of look similar now. This, that's just another cool thing. They give us a vest now, so now they don't all have to look exact, you know, exactly the same body-wise. I just think it's it was such a great idea on Hazel's part. Uh, we got a big Bowie knife that goes onto the back of uh, the brute right here, so that's cool. We have a big bazooka here, of, so uh, the weapons. Are, you know, I wish they were painted. That that would have been nice, but they just gave us reissued weapons. I believe this was the one that came with Punisher. I'm not sure. 
Um, I know he came with a bazooka too. So there's that. Nice scope, but just no paint. We got this shotgun that we've seen before. I know I've seen this in the Return of Marvel Legends Punisher uh, for sure. And it had paint details on it, so I wish they painted this one too. They just kind of went lazy on the weapons here. Uh, we got this very alien looking gun that came with, I remember it being with, I think, the Red Skull from the Captain America movie uh, comic. Uh, Red Skull, not sure. Uh, and then we have this, which I know I've seen before too. I just can't recall where. But the removable ammo drum that clips on there, which is pretty cool. I like that. And it does have the Hydra insignia or logo. That, I like that. I mean, that's very cool. At least they added that, you know. That's weird. They just chose to add that there and that's it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the accessories and, you know, the weapons, the heads, and the vest there. Alright, so the Captain Britain looking brute here uh, came out very nice. I like the line work on the head. They did a very nice straight and clean. Uh, overall, the paint works pretty good. So we got the nuke body. And uh, I guess Cable is sporting this body as well now. Because uh, at the time of this release of this figure, uh, Cable is not out yet. But now Cable is out and he's using these legs. I think it's pretty much the whole body. Except for the vest, of course. Uh, and different hands and all that. But the same boots, same pants and all that. So... So we can see they did paint the little uh, shotgun shells here, and then we got black grenades, which that was detailed, but I guess if they would have made it green, it would have just blended in with the green outfit, it would look kind of weird, but uh, there's the back. So the vest is removable, I don't want to remove it, uh, but it is removable just as the harness for this one. So the articulation of the brute goes left and right, it goes uh, up and down on a bar jointed hinge. Forward and back on the arms, in and out, there is a bicep swivel. Also, I want to mention these very awesome looking Hydra logos on their shoulders. Came out as clean as can be. That came out fantastic on both. I mean, that is great. Great job there. Anyways, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There is a, uh, what is that? That's an ab crunch. That's an ab crunch right there. Waist swivel, two jointed legs go forward and back. They go in and out. There are thigh swivels, double jointed knees here. Uh, shin swivels hidden by the boot ankles are on a hinge forward and back they pivot and that's about it so very cool sculpt on the boots too uh, i just wish they would have detailed it you know it would have been nice if they had painted laces or a different color with the boots maybe a black in there i don't know it would have been a lot better but you know it is what it is uh i guess they were on a budget with this when they released it <laughs> and here we have the regular uh hydro soldier we got the very cool looking uh uh, face sculpt here and the skin tones are completely different too. This one's a lot more pale than the the enforcer brutes over here uh, We got the uh, kind of like the bug eyes here the, the goggle looking eyes The head does swivel left and right it's on a bar jointed hinge so it goes up and down as well Arms go forward and back they go in and out there is a bicep swivel double jointed elbows There is a swivel at the wrist with a hinge an ab crunch a waist swivel T jointed legs go forward and back they go in and out there are thigh swivels Double jointed knees, shin swivel at the uh, boot also, so that's nice. Then we got the ankles on the hinge, forward and back, and there is a ankle pivot. So there we have the Hydra Soldier next to the Shield Soldier. Right, so they're sporting the same body mold. Very different look, of course. There is that, that helmet that is similar to, to this helmet. It's the same thing. Uh, so there's that size comparison. And then move these aside and let's compare the Enforcer next to Cable, which shares the same body mold as well. So there you have them next to each other. Cable still standing a little bit taller it seems. And something I gotta mention before I close out this video is that the only, all these weapons, right, and the only thing that can hold it is the right hand of the regular soldier. He's got a trigger finger on this right hand. There is no trigger finger on his left hand. And the enforcer does not have a trigger finger at all. He's just, I mean, so he's gonna be holding them without putting a finger through a you know a trigger hole or whatever that's, that's just i hate when they do that i mean no matter what weapon he, you're gonna put in his hand he's got to just hold the handle and that's it so ah you know ah whatever i just wish they would just give us why why would they do that i guess they don't think of that you know all these weapons and no hands to hold them yeah all right guys and that does it that concludes my review of the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive Hydra Soldier 2 pack. Anyways, guys, stay tuned till the end of the video uh, where you guys will see a montage of photos. You'll see these guys sporting all the other accessories that, that they are not wearing right now. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great day. Bye.